Ladies and gentlemen, cats and kittens, boys and girls and those in between, it is my pleasure to welcome you to another episode of Nine Lives in partnership with Lady Gun, where you can go check out all of this series if you missed an episode or if you're obsessed with someone, it's all going to be uploaded on their page on their IGTV. Nine Lives is a series where I interview nine literal lives, human, human people, on nine literal Instagram lives and um, our life today is a very, very, very special person. If you don't know who they are, you're about to be obsessed. Uh, Her name is MKXYZ. Her latest single, Pass It, is ridiculous. I have gotten extremely ratchet to it, and I'm excited for you guys to hear it. If you don't already know, you're gonna love it. She's, out of all of the people that I've interviewed so far, got the most daddy energy. Cat! Bye! I I feel like we know each other. I feel like we're already family. Oh, already, for sure, for sure. Tight for life. Um, um, I fucking love this jewelry that you have on. Thank you. Listen, fancy, fancy. Check this one out. I feel like you'll appreciate this, too. Oh, my gosh. It's good, right? Ooh. What are you rocking? You got a sick bucket hat on? You know, I'm just trying to keep a low profile. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, like, literally such a fan of you, and if the clubs were open, I would be on the floor dancing to pass it right now. I would be sweating so hard to pass it. It is so good and the video is perfect. Literally perfect. And you, I know that you started as a dancer too, right? Yes, I actually, I feel like there is no set timing in when I did either or I feel like I've just, to my knowledge, always been singing and dancing. Like it's never not been a thing. Like I don't remember the beginning to this. Like it was just like, I'm here bitches like what's up <laughs> let's get into these questions we're celebrating sure. international women's month so we're gonna talk about women's who is your favorite historical female figure my favorite would have to go to and this was you know what this was really hard too but definitely audrey lord uh when i was in college yes i love audrey i'm who working with the audrey? organization right now it's such a she's amazing yeah. no way yeah, yeah, I'll talk about it later. You okay, yeah, it. I was gonna say we have to we have to key key over that too. Um, yeah. No, definitely Audrey Lord. I think uh, primarily because um, like me being an adult going to college, it was like that was one of the first um, writers, authors, activists that was introduced in one of my favorite classes through one of my favorite professors. Like she's amazing. Like in every in every sense of the word, um, I got to read her work, Zami, um, Sister Outsider. I don't know if you've read it yet. I'm kind of sh- struggling through it. But like, she's so dense. Everything is super yeah. packed. You ha- like, it's really heavy. You have to really sit and take it chapter by chapter. But um, just being a lesbian and, and traveling and having experiences that I wasn't I wasn't in the world yet. I didn't understand what that looked like and from her lens just being able to break it down and and share those experiences I think is just incredible. Like she's so dope. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot to keep up with every day with our queer community and how quickly things are changing and how much new information there is about gender and all that stuff and we focus so much on like being on the right side of what's politically correct right now, but I think like that's a really strong point to go back to the history cuz like the people that sit on the front lines for us to live our lives are so, so, so important. And to just like be reminded where like we all come from. It's really cool. No, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Also, people usually say something that has to do with their career. So I love that you chose something that has to do with our community. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I I think it's also because the fact that like, um, and I, I don't, I didn't assume that she would ask this, but like, like, MK and then the XYZ is a lot of like all of that combined, like just what experiences look like from different perspectives and not trying to basically like adhere to expectations and standards that don't fit you. Like, what does that look like? So like XYZ is that, cause I didn't know if you knew that, but no, I no, I wanted to throw that, that out yeah. there. That's so that's just like to be like the everything that we're made of. Absolutely. like. Fuck these boxes. Fuck these roles. You are what you are. You know what I'm saying? You are the XYZ. Oh, I love that. That's fucking cool. What is one challenge you've had to overcome in your industry? So, (laughs) um, (laughs) right, right. All the struggles. Honestly, I, and I, 
I feel like this hasn't changed. And I don't think it will. <laughs> um, but I because, you know, you grow and stuff like that. But I feel like emotionally dealing with the different steps of being an artist. And I'm sure like I'm like you get this. Like it's just one of those things where it's like things feel like from meeting new people to feeling like there's moments where you failed or just how do you emotionally keep up with like emotional stamina to keep up with everything that's going on as you grow, you know, as a young person, but at the same time, as you grow as an artist and how the world is changing and like, Oh, that's crazy. That shit just happened. Right. But I still got to get up here and do my shit. Like, you know what I mean? It's it's that kind of stuff. It's like, okay, how do I, stay in the game when I really don't have the mental capacity to do it right now. I just totally feel that. I feel like also like, not to say that anybody's art makes that easier, but I feel like you, I relate to you and that you chose or you are naturally when you make your art, somebody who's like, you really put your life in it and you put a lot of energy and like bravado in it. And, and like, you have to be on your game to feel that like swaggy when you do it, you know, and some days you don't feel like that. And, but like sometimes you fake it till you make it and you get affected by that show and you're like oh this is bigger than me but I totally feel that like oh, I also I... like choosing my, to put myself out there as like follow me I will be energy for you or I'll be a safe space for you and some days you're like I'm not even a safe space for myself this is hard thanks it, it, it be like that it really be like that name a woman who has had a big influence on you um mkxyz no i'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding. <Back> um <laughs> i i definitely have to say wow like y'all really gonna make me choose just uno now it's hard you can break the rules break the rules if you want i always break the rules that's what xyz do baby <laughs> um man i'd say the first one goes to mom definitely i think you know what? i'll just generalize this it goes to all the women in my life literally like currently shout out to all y'all that's watching this um and however that looks too um but definitely i'd have to say mom top number one because a lot a lot of the things that i've been able to accomplish a lot of the things that i'm doing literally wouldn't be without my mom and i i definitely also acknowledge that as a privilege to have my mom in my life the way that she is present um, and just how she responds to my queerness and how that's looked and how it's not necessarily policed in my music and, and, and how I decide to express myself. Yeah, I, has your mom ever been like, like my mom's always been really accepted, accepting of me, but still like afraid for me. Like she wants me to be a star and to her knowledge, she's like, well, wouldn't it be easier if you weren't gay? And I'm like, absolutely not, because that would be a lie, and I would combust and like be a drug addict and kill myself at some point. But she does. Your is your mom ever concerned for like the scope of what you can do, or is she always just like, go, go? A million go. percent, a million percent. And I think it's also because like, like my mom still had like, especially with my mom being involved in the arts in some way, in the in the traditional way, it being polished and it looking a certain way. Like, of course, she has. Yeah like her concerns like look do you do you ever think that this is too far and then i'm like you know it could be too far but would we ever know unless we yeah, try, let's try it. Yeah. you see what i'm saying do we ever know if this is going to be the thing that makes everybody go be like shit i wish i thought of that i wish i had the balls to do what you do mk and and fuck that's when I wanna fuck when I wanna like hey! and after they clear it, you know what I'm saying? Who can exactly. Some in music, honestly though, you are a queer artist in the fucking mainstream. Like everyone's gonna listen to that song. You know that's amazing. You you're doing it. Mm, best advice you've ever received, or advice you'd give to your younger self, or your life's motto. To understand that you are where you're supposed to be, mm-hmm. and that timing is is of the essence like and trust the process because i definitely felt like more often than not where it was just like why why me why now why am i the only one why is this feel so long Mm -hmm. uh why does this feel so long why does this feel like this is overwhelming 
I don't know, like it was just so many questions and I feel like the younger me was always like why 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 and then every couple years later I'd be like oh shit like that makes so much sense as to why I had to sit through that I had to deal with these moments these dark moments whatever the case may be why I was allowed to like why I was not, not even allowed why I won why I felt like I won in certain things like just different shit like like I definitely would say that to myself but as far as every day I just like my biggest thing is just reflect elevate grow like keep it real simple what's that like fantasy in your brain that you're prepping for every time you perform what's the thing you really really want to do honestly the craziest part is like I feel like yes I have those dreams and those goals of ultimately you know having musical success artistry success um and we all know typically what that looks like Grammys and you Mm. know lifetime achievements and all that stuff but for me like people would you know it's crazy that you mentioned performing like people would never know like that I'm not necessarily nervous on stage or have anxiety while I'm performing, you know, but I've always been super scared to do the, just to do it. I've always been super scared to just get up there and do it. Like it was always a thing where like my biggest fear was just doing it, even though I had done it. So get that. It's not like, it's not like I hadn't done it yet. Now I'm doing it. Like I've been performing. I've done, you know, open mics. I've done talent shows. I've done all those different things, you know, TV, like whatever it is, but it's more so like, um, why do I keep getting things? But uh, it's just more so like to be able to be free in that sense and to own everything I do. Like, that's what that looks like to me. In the end, it's like, it's not not necessarily like ownership, like physically, it's like owning it, but like owning it in everything it. that I do. Like I was able to overcome this, do this, whether it be for the people, for the fans, for my family, whatever it is. Like it's like you were able to fully step into who you be- like who you want to be. I just want to enjoy it. I don't want to look back on that and be like, man, you're like choking back how scared you are i just want to have fun and when exactly. i see people like just being there for that show i'm like i want my career to be marked by me being like present when i do stuff like that okay this is a really serious question really really big deal don't be intimidated um there is a right and wrong answer salty or sweet ah! <laughs> uh i'd definitely have to go with sweet what sweet Hey, you guys, for those of you who just did your best to try and tune in, we had an incredible conversation barring the fucking terrible internet or something. I think my phone wants to murder me. But MKXYZ is a literal star, a dreamboat, and also, like, a queer leader. So go follow her if you aren't already. And um, I personally look forward to the gay dance bangers that's going to make you shake your ass that we write together in the future because that's a new friend. Um... Anyway, thank you for trying your best to tune in. And if you really want us to, maybe we'll come back again sometime soon. I love you guys. That's been Nine Lives.